Wada, Senator Ledama, would you please resume your seat? The 67 senators both elected and nominated to court of office, each pledging to carry out their duty diligently. Having been elected a member of, for the, of the Senate, do swear. Kwamba ntakuwa muaminifu na mtiifu kwa watu wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. Nikiwa nimechaguliwa kama mwanachama wa Seneti na hapa. And after officially ditching the title senator elect, it was time to get down to the only business slated for the day that of electing the speaker and deputy speaker. But before they began, Nasa allied senators queried the circumstances under which Kenneth Lusaka was cleared to contest, citing integrity issues. It, it, it would be terrible if at any one time the person who occupies the position of the chair of this house uh, had matters which are still pending uh, any advice findings made by the, by the previous Senate? We cannot introduce, Ms. Mr. Clark, general provisions of the Constitution on a matter which has specific provisions of the same Constitution. Despite this, elections began with the clerk informing the House that Wilfred Mashage had opted to pull out of the race. In the first round of voting, Kenneth Lusaka, the former Bungoma governor, managed to get 40 votes which fell short of the two-third threshold of 45 to be declared the outright winner in the first round. His main challenge of Farah Malim proposed by NASA garnered 23 votes, while the former speaker Ekwe Thuro managed a paltry two votes. Paul Gishuki got one vote, Ramesh Chandra Govind and Gisami Ondicho did not get a single vote. This prompted a second round of voting in which Lusaka garnered 42 votes against his main challenger Farah Malim, who managed 25. I now declare Lusaka Kenneth Makelo to be duly elected as a Speaker of the Senate. I, Kenneth Makelo Lusaka, having been elected as Speaker of the Senate, do swear in the name of the Almighty God that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the people and the Republic of Kenya. That I'll face. In his speech, Lusaka, who was among the governors accused of graft following the alleged purchase of Casinogena's wheelbarrows, valued at 100,000 Kenyan shillings each, pledged wheels of change in pushing for an end to the supremacy battles between the Senate and the National Assembly. That is how tangible and progressive milestones will be realized by our bicameral parliament. The Holy Bible says that a divided house falls. The Senate, however, failed to elect a deputy speaker after all candidates from the Jubilee Party withdrew their candidature a day after President Uhuru Kenyatta had announced the party which enjoys a majority in the Senate will front Kithure Kindiki to deputize the speaker. Kenneth Lusaka's ascension to the helm of the Senate is perceived as a reward for his relentless campaign for the Jubilee Party in Western Kenya. For Channel One News, I am Edward Kabasa.